Hi guys, welcome back to Advanced VR Fair. I'm Ban. Important update about Resident Evil Village VR mode that so far supported only 6DOF, so only the movement of the head, but not full control for touch controllers. In fact, to move inside the game was required the keyboard or the gamepad. Two hours ago, while I'm recording this video, has been released an update on the fly for partial support for touch controllers. So now is it possible to play a Resident Evil Village in VR just like Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3, with the support, even if partial, of VR controllers? This video actually is not a guide on how to install VR mode for Resident Evil Village, because the procedure is exactly identical to the one I showed in the video with the guide on how to install VR mode for Resident Evil 2. But it's more a way to make you know that now is it possible to play with the touch controllers. Anyways, to install the VR mode for Resident Evil Village you need the Steam version of the game and after you download and then installed, do not run it yet, click on the gear icon, manage browse, local files and it will open the game folder. Follow the link in the description to download the VR mode that is on the same page from which you can download VR mode for Resident Evil 2 and 3. Even if the files inside the zip are the same, these are the one for Resident Evil Village. So open the zip file you just downloaded and drag all the files inside the game folder. Here required to override because I already did, but you don't receive this message. Now you can run the game, but wait, because to not overload your system, making it doing more things together, I suggest you to open the Oculus client first, then open Steam VR, wait for controllers and headset check, now click on play and you will get the message that the game will run in VR. Click in OK, the game is launched and it's time to put on your headset and enjoy Resident Evil Village in VR. As you see, even in this case, it opened the panel with all the settings from which you can edit all the things about the mod, while for the graphics setting, being the first time I run this game in VR, I didn't try it yet, and in another video I will do a little gameplay about Resident Evil Village in which I will suggest the best settings to run the game at the best as possible, and even reducing the glitching effect. Effect. In other, it's very important for you to keep following because in another video I will do on Resident Evil 2, will be also good for Resident Evil 3, I will reply to the many of you that asked in the comments in the Italian version and the international version of the video, asking about different action to do with touch controllers, so how to reload, how to run, how to switch weapons without entering in the inventory and uh, having to equip them every time, how to use fast inventory, how to throw granites and more, because often I think these things are easy to do, but actually, overall for those who approach VR for the first time, using touch controllers or full VR controls could be not so easy. Well, I won't get too long for this video, so thanks for watching, like, share, subscribe and ring the bell. From Ben and Soul, see you to the next one and see ya in VR. Bye guys!